Mimi Girl here and welcome back to my channel. So I am back in America and Japan was absolutely amazing. It was everything I dreamed it was going to be and more. And I bought so much stuff. As you can see, I just have a whole bunch of stuff all around me. I, um, I went to Japan with just a carry-on because I knew I was going to have to come home with a whole bunch of stuff and I had to actually ship. Like, so, this beautiful box right here has all of the candy that I could not bring on the plane with me. And I really didn't want to check a bag because they're kind of very, um, not nice whenever they handle luggage. So, I just decided that it would be better to ship it and hopefully, if I shipped it correctly, it would find its way to me. Which it did in like about three days. So, shipping was amazing. I came home, I mostly slept when I got home, jet lag was horrible, and then, before I knew it, my package arrived. So I can do this massive Japan haul for you all. So first of all, we're going to start off with shoes. So Liz Lisa, I've always wanted something from Liz Lisa, I've seen YouTubers, like showing their Liz Lisa hauls and I'm like I want to be one of those people that get to show Liz Lisa stuff so of course Harajuku I had to go to Liz Lisa and I bought these adorable shoes so these are my adorable Liz Lisa shoes the back is absolutely gorgeous they have the uh, ribbon like all laced up the back like a corset which I think is beautiful. Oh, so, so amazing. So, the shoes have the little clip latching. So, it's like on the top. And then it also does the latch on the front. Where your foot goes. So, that's really cute and very easy. And then it has frilly lace all around the top and the bottom with bows and then it just has a really cute nice heel I love heels because I'm very short so I like to be tall once in a while and um, yeah so that's just the shoe up close so gorgeous that's that and then to match my shoes oh, okay so I'm really happy. This is the coat that I bought from Liz Lisa. This coat, it actually matches the shoes. Oh yeah, being very uh, matchy. Okay, but yes, so this coat has wonderful detail to it. The buttons, I love how there's only the one button that closes and then this one just stays there so you don't have to worry about because sometimes coats they have them like go over the buttons and it just doesn't look as like clean as having just the button sewn on and there's really good embroidery detail on the sleeve part where you can adjust it accordingly to your wrist size on the bottom of the coat there is more like embroidery stitching and it has like flowers and there's a bow and then it has like that really pretty um just like cut so it looks frilly and like a dress it doesn't have just like that flat bottom which i really like and um i will show you over here me in it because i just think it fits me so well and then on the back there's another button and there's more rose stitching that's really pretty so this is my gorgeous coat this was the most expensive along with my Liz Lisa shoes my most expensive purchase but I'm very happy with it and I would not take this purchase back for the world. Another pair of shoes I got, these were not planned, of course, because these are just boring 
running, walking shoes. They're very comfortable though. Um, there's a heel pillow, so there's like a comfort insert inside of these. And they're New Balance brand. I don't know, I mean, I've never bought a New Balance brand before. But whenever you're like me, and you leave your shoes in the Airbnb because you were in a rush to try and go to Hello Kitty Hotel and Sanrio Puro Land, yeah, my shoes, my tennis shoes, were the last thing on my mind. So sadly, for like a day and a half, I had to walk around in the shoes that I'll show you later that I bought from Harajuku so I could wear with my dress to go to Sanrio Puro Lands. Um, yeah, so these were an unexpected purchase, but they're very comfortable and as of now, I don't actually have a pair of tennis shoes that are comfortable to wear. So, a blessing in disguise, I guess. Now, we're gonna wait for the box and we're gonna get on with this beautiful package sitting next to me. So, this was my personal item, my book bag, that I was originally planning on buying anyways because I knew that I would need something to transport all of my souvenirs and goodies and stuff I'm gonna, you know, give to my family. So, luckily I found a pink book bag, which is adorable, and this is like a huge size. This is like half of me. As you can see, it's stuffed. Stuffed to the gills with everything. Um, but yeah, so I will talk more about this book bag whenever I actually get everything out of it. Okay, first we have this container. And this I bought in a Tokyo station and uh, it's for my mom. I bought this really cute, it's like fragrance oil and I think it's Sakura fragrance. This is really cute and adorable and my mom loves fragrances. Normally I buy her like candles and stuff, but this is something different and it's from Japan. So that's for my mom. This next gift I bought is from the Pokemon Center. This is for my niece because she loves Pokemon. Okay. So this little beauty is Ditto. So my niece loves Ditto. It's really soft too. And I'm really excited because um, of course they don't have much Ditto stuff unless you're getting a Pokemon that's disguised um by ditto did i say that right anyways but um yes so this ditto plushie it's uh only found in japan so this is a legit ditto japanese plushie next whenever i stayed at the hello kitty hotel room um you get these cute little complimentary like plushies and i was so excited because i stayed at the uh, Keio Plaza Hotel in Shinjuku just for the fact that I would get a complimentary Hello Kitty plushie because you can't get them anywhere else. Like, Keio Plaza Hotel is actually like stamped on the butt of <laughs> my Hello Kitty. So, this adorable, oh look at her, she has a little purple dress and you can hang her kind of like a keychain and then on the butt, like I said, it has a signature stamp of the K.O. Plaza Hotel. So, she's official. And she's all mine. And then, another special surprise that I was not expecting was that they have another K.O. Plaza Hotel doll. So, I got two because there were two people in the room, which was also my boyfriend. And it has the stamp on her back of the jacket but yeah it's so cute it says like hello kitty and this um yeah this was actually not part of the online like showing of what you get if you stay in the hotel but i was really excited so i got two adorable limited plushies ah you can only get in japan and also Whenever we went to Harajuku, I wanted to go to the Etude House, and they have this adorable 
candy highlighter brush. It's like a unicorn, just all over it. It's so pretty. And the brush itself, let's see if I can, I haven't opened it, this is my first time. Okay. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's like purple and pink and mint and could it be any cuter? I just had to buy it because I've never seen a brush as cute as this one. So the next thing I bought was also from Harajuku. There was a uh, Hello Kitty store, of course. There was a lot of Hello Kitty everywhere I went and I was really ecstatic. I had to go to every single Hello Kitty store, Hello Kitty statue, take a picture of everything. I was in Hello Kitty world. So as we all know, Sanrio likes to give like gifts with stuff if you buy a purchase. So their little gift this time was a uh, like little keychain. It's like a crystal pink Hello Kitty. And you could choose between which character you wanted. They had a whole bunch of them. They were all different colors. Um, but of course, I mean, I had to get the Hello Kitty one. And they just wrapped it so beautifully and it has like this little ribbon. We're going to unwrap my present all over again. Okay, so I bought a few things from here. Oh, of course. Oh, I had to. I had to buy the Hello Kitty cookie plushie. Like, it was so adorable and it was calling my name and I just, I needed her so much. Um, so she's really cute. And then I got two keychains. Well, technically I got three keychains, but um, yeah, so I got this one, which is a little furry Hello Kitty with her bear friend. Adorable Hello Kitty. And then there's her cute little bear friend. It's got a red matching bow. Also, I got some uh, only from Harajuku. They have the Sanrio Vivitix Harajuku keychains. So this one is adorable. And of course, it's Little Twin Stars because Little Twin Stars is my second favorite Sanrio characters. Well, second and third, I guess. So there's that keychain. And it has a really cute pink bow and it's just like really precious. It's all glittery and it has an adorable gem. And then the second one I got was Hello Kitty and Daniel. They're so cute. There is them like princess and prince. And then it says Harajuku. So it's really like a little souvenir from Harajuku. And yeah, so this should pretty much also be called like a Hello Kitty haul because I have so much Hello Kitty stuff that I have gotten from my trip to Japan. Okay. And then next, more plushies. Okay, so whenever we went to Tokyo Station, I could not decide which one I wanted. Um, well, this one, of course, is, it's like a Tokyo Station exclusive. So you can only get this Hello Kitty at Tokyo Station. So of course I had to get this because, I mean, I love limited edition stuff just because it makes it that much more special, I guess. So I had to get her. And then next, I just saw Fluffy. So cute and fluffy. It has a plane, and then it has the red, white, and blue colors, which is really adorable. And it has a little bow, aw. So there's that, and she's just, so fluffy and I fell in love with her right when I saw her. The next thing I bought, oh, I forgot. I forgot my little gift. So whenever we went to the Hello Kitty shop in Tokyo Station, they gave me a little gift. And it's like a little, um, you can hold tea in it. And it just says like, 
Hello Kitty on it. And then on the back, it says Hello Kitty Shop and then Tokyo Station, which is really cute because another limited edition thing that you can only get at Tokyo Station. So that was really cute and so sweet that I got her because um, I didn't even know. The lady just like was packaging up my stuff and then she pulled out this and she asked me to, you know, look it over, make sure everything looked good. And I was like, oh, thanks, you know, that's great. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, oh, okay. So I went to the Disney store in Harajuku because my sister loves Stitch. And I was really hoping that they would have something because, I mean, you know, Stitch is Disney. So I found, it's just a really cute plushie. And he's like sticking out his tongue and he's just like, oh, look at me, I'm so kawaii. So I hope my sister really likes him because, um, yeah, I haven't seen any Stitch like this in America while we were in Akihabara. Oh, I needed her. I've always wanted an android. Always. Like, I have just had this, like, gaping hole in my heart where I need an android. So, of course, going to Akihabara, I knew that there was going to be figures upon figures galore. And I'm not a big figure collector, so I really had to decide which figure I wanted because if not, I would have just bought them all and I would have came home and I would have been like, what? I need to reevaluate my life. So, oh, they had an edition of Sakura Miku. So I was really excited because I, I saw this and I was like, you are mine. And I just could not stop. Um, like I couldn't put her down after I picked her up. I was like, yep, you're going home with me. This one cost uh, 2,500, which is yeah, about like $25 US, but there was another one that was 3500 and you know, it really wasn't too much different. You could change her face, of course, I mean that's pretty much what you do with an android, but the face wasn't really cute. I mean, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I need that face to spend $3,500. So I just decided, you know, she comes with some cute stuff, she comes with sushi, and she has like a little stand, so she's still legit. It's not just the figure that I bought for $2,500. So I'm really excited. I finally have an android. Ah! Okay. Sorry. Get back to reality. Okay. Now, the next thing I bought was from Sanrio Puro Land. I really thought I was gonna go overboard and just buy everything in the store, but I did find just a cute, like, you know, a few cute souvenirs. It says, I, I really love, for some reason, buying stuff that says places I've been. So I have like my Harajuku keychains, and then I have Sanrio Puro Land. Aww. So it's like, Hello Kitty, with her bear friend, of course. And it can be like, a pin, a clip, a keychain, you can pretty much turn it into whatever you want. And then, oh man, I'm like reliving all the cuteness, I'm so sorry. Like, it's like I forgot what I bought while I was in Japan because I just bought so much stuff. But another Sanrio exclusive, Sanrio Pure Land, sorry, Sanrio Pure Land exclusive. Um, so. It just is like another little cell phone or like a keychain you can, you know, put on your purse or anything. A few more items. And then I have my amazing box. Bet you guys are wondering what is in this box. Or maybe you're not. Okay. So this I found in a cute little shop. So um, they were wrapped so nicely. And I don't know which one is which, but I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. One of them is going to my sister and her family. It's pretty much like a family gift. And then the other one I'm keeping for myself because I've always wanted one of these. And we 
we walked across it while we were on our way to one of the stations. And it was this cute little shop that did like handcrafted, handmade, they had like um, pictures, dishes and everything. Oh, yep, this is my sister's. It is a lucky cat. So it's like hand uh, crafted and like painted and everything. And it has its right paw up, which means that it's supposed to be um, for money. But I had to get one for my sister because I just thought it was really cute and something nice to put in your house. So I got this for her and then I got a white one for myself. Oh, yeah. And then it's really cute. So it's a Maneki Neko. Maneki Neko. And it gives you a little, um, like, description of it. So, yes. The right hand is for um, luck with money. And the left hand is for a good visitor. Um, yeah, I really wasn't feeling the whole <laughs> visitor thing. So... I was hoping that maybe fortune. And then the last item, which is actually a lot of items, um, I went a little crazy at uh, the Etude House and I bought a whole bunch of face masks. I bought collagen eye patches because I have a lot of problems with like dark circles and like stuff under my eyes. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can like, you know, put vitamins and stuff because, yeah, my face needs it. So I bought a few of those and then I actually don't know, um, green tea nose pack. I don't actually know, um, what it's supposed to help with, but I decided to try that too, you know, and then I just bought a whole bunch of different face masks. So we have like the bright complexion and we have um, moisture and brightening, got some lemon, green tea, strawberry, aloe, um, yeah, rose, just, just a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, did that. <laughs> and then last thing I bought from Etude House was... I saw this and I thought it looked really cute, mostly because of the girl on the picture. So this is a silk scarf, which says it's supposed to help with like treated, like color treated hair. And as you can tell, I don't know um, if this lighting is really good, but in some of my other videos where I was vlogging, you can see that I have some blonde because I am transforming into a blonde. And sometimes my hair, like, you know, does feel a little bit dry. And I'm using shampoo, of course, you know, to stop that. But these are supposed to also help. So I decided that when I go get my hair treated again in about two weeks, ah, so excited, um, I will try this out. And then now that my book bag is uh, mostly empty, there's just a few, like, papers and brochures and stuff that... I just kind of threw in here, um, but my book bag, uh, it is so adorable and pink. I got it from Pink Latte in Harajuku. I love this book bag. It is big. It's roomy. It, um, you can see in there, it just, uh, keeps going in depth. And then it has two little pockets. Pretty much, um, it does really good keeping like papers and stuff in them is what I've used them for. And then there's a side pocket, and then on the other side there's another pocket. And then it has comfy like mesh, probably to stop like maybe sweating. Like, but yeah, it's like really comfy and plushy in the back, so it like is nice up against your back when you wear it. And then, I haven't put them on yet but they come with cute little pins so they give you three little pins that you can put on your book bag let me see if i can get all close so there's like a bear pin it's actually like in an outline of a bear 
and then it just says, uh, I am having a good time every day. So, there's that. And then there's also just a pink latte with a heart and wings. And then there is PKLT is love. Aww. Yeah, so those are little pins that they give you that you can put on your book bag. Uh, which I probably will, just because that's kind of cool. Okay, so that is all of the like items and stuff that is non-edible that I bought. But now we are going to open this amazingly heavy box that is just filled with a whole bunch of snacks and goodies. I will um, try to get through this box as fast as possible. I know this video is getting kind of long and I do apologize um, for any of you still sticking around watching this video. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say sorry. I was not expecting this massive Japan haul to be <laughs> as massive as it turned out to be. Um, but yes, so now without any further ado, I'm going to get on with my snacks and goodies that I bought from Japan. And um, yeah, so if you're not interested in the snacks, um, now would be a good time if you'd like to leave us, but I hope you don't want to. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I'm just going to try to, like, get a, give you guys a good idea of this box being, like, filled to the gills. Filled. Look at it. There, this is just all, like... This is $80 shipping. <laughs> Not gonna even lie to you guys. Yep. I spent $80 to ship all this food to myself. First, so, this is the only Hello Kitty thing I bought, um, I think. That was candy, like, um, I think they're supposed to be, like, Rice Krispie treats or something like that. Um, but yeah, so, I bought these in Odaiba. In the Hello Kitty shop, of course. Another Hello Kitty shop. And then, this is stuff we bought from Harajuku. We just went absolutely crazy, and we just, like, bought a whole random bag. Some stuff could be gum, some stuff could be, like, heart candy. There's some really, like, squishy pink and blue swirls I bought just because they looked adorable. Um, yeah, from Toddy Candy Factory. And then we got some Legos. Lego candy, supposedly. They don't really sell it in America anymore. That's what my boyfriend said. Um, next. Aw. So, these adorable Pocky, they have, like, heart-shaped sticks. And I bought these for my, uh, co-worker and friend, Teresa. I hope she really likes them. Strawberry Pocky is amazing. And then um, you'll see Kit Kat Obsession. Do not mind the Kit Kat Obsession. So first it starts off with Blueberry Kit Kats. Um, never had these before. And then we have in, um, Mole Stone. Mole Stone Kit Kats. Has uh, almonds and cute little... Are those... I don't know what kind of fruit those are. But anyways. Whatever it is. Cranberries maybe? I don't know. So there's that. Raspberry Kit Kat. Oh my gosh, yes. A whole bag of raspberry. I love raspberry. Okay, we have um limited edition strawberry cheesecake. I'm so excited because um this was the last container. So obviously everybody wanted to try them and I just could not leave without trying this like limited edition strawberry cheesecake. So there's that. Also, um, we went to the Kit Kat Chocolatory in Ikebukuro Station and they have these I Love Fruits. Well, <clears throat> it looks like Strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, apple, and lemon. Oh, huh. It's on the packaging. Yep, good old packaging. Okay, but anyway, so um, I hope I like blueberry Kit Kats because I have a huge container and I have a few in here. But yes, yeah, so there's that. We, uh, oh, my boyfriend. I've never had these either though, but my boyfriend bought sake. Sake Kit Kats. And um, he also bought a blueberry for himself. And a wasabi, which I haven't had either. Like, I'm, I'm still like a Kit Kat virgin. I've only had maybe five flavors of Kit Four: strawberry, raspberry, chocolate. You know, regular chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna be really excited. Also, from the Kit Kat Chocolatory, there's a special. Um, it's strawberry maple. I'm really excited, kind of, because I mean, I, in my head, I picture like a waffle with strawberry syrup and maple syrup. All put together and it just sounds really good to me so i'm hoping 
hoping that these are going to be good. My boyfriend also got pistachio and grapefruit from the Tropicori. Another strawberry maple. These little things. Well, big container. Um, I'm really surprised. I don't know what this is going to taste like. It has like a strawberry, maybe like a dried strawberry. Um, I don't know. But anyways, it's white chocolate or white white strawberry chocolate. And these look really interesting. And then I think we like doubled it up, but we have another one. So I'm hoping these are good. Um, I also bought this expecting to get some to like my mom and my sister and stuff to try. So yeah, hopefully these are good and they're not weird or like dry tasting. Cause normally I feel like a white chocolate strawberry should be like juicy to bite into, but these are not going to be, I don't think so. Um, let's see, just a few more items in here, not much. I heard about this like soccer dessert or something that's like really good to try. There's like a little picture of it. It's like something wrapped with something, soccer. Um, but yeah, so they had little pieces in the store where we went. We bought all of our Kit Kats and stuff. So I decided that I would try this because I actually didn't ever see the dessert itself. So I'll try like a candy, candy of the dessert, I guess. And the last Kit Kat flavor we have is, I don't know, flan. It looks like flan. It, it says Lucky Easter and then it says Easter break and it has like really cute, um, like little bunnies and stuff on it. Like the packaging, the packaging is just adorable. And yeah, so that's really cute. And I've never seen this before, so this might be like a limited edition Easter flavor maybe. Um, yeah, so there's that. And last but not least, my shoes. These shoes are the reason why I forgot my tennis shoes in the Airbnb. But all in all, I bought them from Love Toxic. They're just really normal black sandals. You know, surprisingly, you don't know how hard that is to find a pair in America. I mean, with, like, the really wide heel, but still, like, actually have a heel to it, like the block heel. So, I was excited to find these, obviously, in Harajuku. So, that was exciting. And, yeah, so, I bought some jelly beans. <laughs> that is the last thing. All of this stuff was bought in Japan. I really, looking at it in my bed right now, I can't imagine <laughs> how it all came home with me. So for anyone still watching this video, I want to thank you all. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I am sorry that you had to see my shopping addiction um, come to life on camera. But when you're in Japan, if you see something, you just have to buy it. That is my advice for you. If you see it and you think you want it, buy it. Because you might not have another chance. So take my advice. And um, please, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet um, and you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and hit that little bell button. And um, I just want to thank you all. I will see you next time.